Hi there, everyone. I'm Professor John Hawks, and I'm an anthropologist at UW-Madison and a faculty member in the Crow Institute for the Study of Evolution. I brought you here to the Biological Anthropology Lab to talk about my work and to introduce some of what we do with comparing fossil hominins and human evolution. My work is on human evolution broadly. I look at the genetics of living people, how they're connected to ancestral humans and archaic humans in different parts of the world. And I study the fossil record, how we can tell from the morphology of ancient fossil relatives of humans, how they're related to us and what their lives were like. Some of my work has been in South Africa, where I work with colleagues at cave sites uncovering fossil evidence of human relatives and trying to understand how they lived. That includes the species Homo naledi from the Rising Star cave system. Now, the fossils that we study in South Africa and in other parts of the world remain in the countries where they're found, and we study them there. But here in my lab in Madison, we use data that we've collected from those fossils to examine it and compare it with data from other parts of the world and with living humans. We try to build a picture of, of our entire human family tree to understand the changes that happened along the road to becoming today's modern humans and also the unique lifestyles that ancient hominin relatives had and the way that they adapted to their unique environments. So that's the kind of work that we do. Now, one important part of that is letting students know about what these fossils are and what they're like. And the Biological Anthropology Lab here at UW has really wonderful skeletal collections of recent humans and of other primates that are our close living relatives, as well as high resolution copies and 3D prints of fossil evidence of human evolution from around the world. Now this year has been a really tough one for us because it's really important to get students a very hands-on experience of, of what fossil hominins are like. And they haven't been able to come into the lab this year. And so we've developed some exciting virtual labs that we are able to share out and allow students to inspect fossil evidence of human origins in three dimensions. And we've got some wonderful comparisons set up that we're using here in our UW classes and that are available for folks in the public to look at. You can check those out by looking at my website for my lab here, hominanthropologywisc.edu. And there's a list of virtual labs that gives you a chance to look at the real fossil evidence of human origins to manipulate it and take a look at how it compares between humans and these extinct species of human relatives and to get some insight into the way that we've changed in our evolutionary history. I hope that you'll check out those virtual labs because they're a really exciting way to look at the picture of human origins from a, a perspective of specific individual fossils. So take a look at it and I hope that you'll join us here at UW when you come to visit so that you can have a look at the Biological Anthropology Lab and, and the experiences that we have to offer when you're able to come onto campus.